I've actually been teaching at COCA for 13 years uh, as a teacher. I've been working in Webster Groves, Maplewood, Clayton, all around, working with kids, doing what I do. I really want this school to become a school that is known around the country, like some of the other performing arts schools, like the, the famed, uh, fame school, you know, in New York. And I want kids to come from, I want kids to want to come here. I want to go to Grand Center Arts Academy. I, I really want my class to be structured around sort of like a conservatory. That's how I kind of look at it. So I'm not just creating students who like theater, but kids who really want to go and become actors and actresses or have some kind of profession within the theater. If you get nothing else out of this class that I'm teaching about theater, it teaches you how to be an effective communicator. And we all need to be an effective communicator, whether it's a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, a professional athlete, whatever job it is, you will eventually have to stand in front of people and talk or have to communicate with people and being able to communicate effectively and express yourself in a very positive and expressive way, can't go wrong with that. I'm a teacher who likes to um, have the students discover the voice and the body. I look at those as two of the actors' foundations, really, you know, the voice and the body. So we will do a lot of games that involve projecting the voice, uh, concentration, um, pantomime, improvisation. Theater actually contains all of the core subjects that students are learning, whether it's communication arts, whether it's history, whether it's math, whether it's science. It's all in theater. There's writing. We do tons of writing, whether it's script writing, which definitely ties in with com arts, monologue writing, uh, com arts. When we're doing a play that's based in history, of course, that's social studies. We have to go back and we have to look at, let's say if we're doing somebody like uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, or if we're doing, you know, a famous leader from back, uh, or World War II even, a play that we're going to write about that, you know. We have to go back. We have to look at the history. We have to go through all the, you know, the history books, and that's definitely a connection, even if it was a famous scientist. Or when you look at the math part of theater, we have to build sets. It takes math to do that. And I'm always incorporating you know, the core. I just had my students do a reflective essay uh, where they wrote you know, two pages about you know, their experience in theater. And I got more than two pages from each kid, so that's always exciting. So, and it makes a, I don't know, a, a more well-rounded student when they are involved with the arts. I get to help to create and build the curriculum and to build these great, wonderful students who will be great, wonderful actors and actresses. That's great. That's a joy. I have the best gig in town.